Hey, this is Jay Brick Tech Support for LSP Facilitators, and we're going to take a deeper look at the minifig. So usually a central component in a lot of the models that get built during a session. And so we're going to take a look at different ways we can make connections to the figure and uh, also different ways that we can combine it with other system bricks. So first, let's take a look at the hands. Now there is a top and a bottom to hands. And uh, how we can tell the top from the bottom is uh, that they're flat on top and then the front comes down and it kind of curves back down to the wrist. There's a little bit of height between the top of uh, the hand and the wrist. Uh, this left hand is pointing down. We can see the wrist curving down uh, to the front. There's that flat and then back up to the wrist. If that's hard to see, that's okay. We've got a friend who's been blown up to help us illustrate the top and the bottom of the hands. So here we go. Here's the wrist. It uh, rises up to that flat part. So this hand is pointing up. You can see the one on the left here. Uh, he's actually pointing down. So we can turn that up and we get that shape, right? So cool. What, why do we care? Why do we care about the top versus the bottom? I'm glad you asked. Let's go back to our regular size friend here. And uh, we'll put both hands in the fully upright and locked position. And I want you to take a look at the, from top down, uh, the shape and the size of the hand to the stud that's on top of the head to the stud that's on top of a brick. They're all the same. So what that means is anything that can snap to the top of a system brick will fit on top of the hand. So I've got a couple uh, examples here. Uh, we've got the scepter of awesomeness, for example, uh, fits onto a stud, which means uh, we can push it on top of a minifig hand and it'll fit right on there. Let's see if we can get that to focus. Boink. There we go. Uh, you can see it, it slides right on top. So knowing the top of the hand from the bottom is going to uh, make the magic happen, right? It won't fit uh, on the bottom. It has to be the top. So what else does that mean for us? Well, not only uh, accessory items like this, uh, but also uh, system bricks themselves. Um, it would just be a matter of finding where uh, a stud would normally fit on the bottom of a system brick and pushing the hand in there. So I get that to focus again. You can see how it holds it. And it's actually pretty, pretty stable, um, which is also great when it comes to uh, other connection items like this, like the chain. Uh, this is a popular connection uh, piece, right? And it's hard for the minifig to kind of hold on to um, let me get this to focus again. The camera's like, what are you doing? Pick up, pick up, pick a plane of focus here. Um, so it can't really hold on to uh, the, the chain links very well. But we have this piece, and we know that this fits on top of a stud. So pushing it on top of the hand uh, is what we want to do. And that gives us, again, a pretty stable connection point. So, you know, as we move models around during a session, we don't want things to fall apart, right? So this is a great way to make that connection from a minifig to a piece like this. Now, other areas that we can connect it to, you know, we can do the top of the head, but usually people have hats or helmets or something like that on there. Uh, the back of the legs, um, we know about the bottom, the feet, right? That goes on top of uh, bricks all the time, but uh, we can also snap uh, blocks uh, or bricks and accessories into the back of the leg here. Um, and the same thing, you know, we can do it on um, system bricks as well. So uh, that's another connection point for the legs. Uh, what else can we do? Um, well, they come apart, right? And uh, we can certainly uh, stack pieces in between the torso and the legs. Uh, I'll use a clear brick here, and you can see how the those higher studs that are on the legs there will actually fit up in there. And uh, we just gave ourselves a height boost there. We can now. Uh, let's see, wistfully look at our hopes and dreams far away, up high, because we can reach them now, or maybe just the, you know, Lego sets at the top shelf at Target. So yeah, it, there's a bunch of different ways that we can start connecting and using uh, bricks on the minifig. Um, we can make this a robot now or something else like that and, uh, you know, I don't know, snap the legs into another set of legs on a b brick and we are you know halfway to i don't know a minotaur here is it a minotaur a centaur which one is that put that in the comments correct my mythology mistake please 
So I hope this was helpful, especially when it comes to understanding the top and the bottom of a hand and how we can make connection points. Any questions or comments, leave them below. And until next time, play well.